Five NBA stars that are getting traded. Ben Simmons is the obvious one, but who's the second most likely to be dealt, and what are the possible destinations for each star? Every player on this list desperately needs a new situation, and there's decent evidence leading us to believe they'll change uniforms during the 2022 calendar year. Number five, Ben Simmons. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. The Australian floor general for the Philadelphia 76ers has refused to enter training camp, and the most recent report is that he refused to meet with his 76er teammates. The clip of Doc Rivers saying he didn't know the answer to whether or not Ben Simmons can be a starting point guard on a championship team went viral, and it'd be uncomfortable if Simmons returned to Philly. Whether or not Doc was right, he should have at least showed belief in his player to the media, but I can't blame Doc because Simmons did refuse to attack wide open driving lanes and shot a playoff worst 32% from the free throw line. Simmons is due $33.2 million in 21-22, so it's been impossible for Elton Brand to find a trade partner, but there's still some value for the man. With all the hate Ben's received, it seems everyone's forgotten the kid's still 25 years of age and just made the all-defensive first team. Next to De'Aaron Fox in Sacramento, Simmons could shift over to play the small ball four, and that'd be a solid pick and roll combination if Ben's willing to set screens. Bleacher Report suggested that Sacramento could give up Buddy Heald's rookie Davion Mitchell and three future first round picks in return for Simmons. Kings fans are excited about their new rookie Davion, so maybe that's a long shot, but the front office is in desperate need to get back to the postseason for the first time since 2006, which is the longest playoff drought in the NBA by a full decade. That's likely why Sacktown's been given the third highest odds to land Simmons. Don't be surprised if the Houston Rockets or Minnesota Timberwolves pull off a deal for the three-time All-Star as well. Number four, Carl Anthony Towns. Even after tweeting, quote, WTF dot 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 after the Wolves fired their GM, there's reportedly no indication that Cat wants out of Minneapolis. But you wonder how much more losing this man can take. Don't get me wrong, the Wolves have a solid young big three with Towns deloading and Anthony Edwards, plus Pat Beverly could help their defense this year, but I'm still concerned that it won't be enough to get them into the playoffs for the first time since 2018. That year was Carl's one and only playoff appearance and the only top eight seed in the last 17 years for the Wolves organization. I'm naturally optimistic, so I'll hold out hope that they can make a run at the play-in tournament, but the Deep Western Conference likely won't allow the Wolves to do that. That means in the summer of 2022, the soon-to-be 27-year-old Carl Anthony Towns, who won't be a free agent for another two years, could request a trade. The best stretch big in the league and one of the best of the modern era behind Dirk Nowitzki, among others, deserves the chance to make the playoffs and compete for a title. Maybe that can't happen with the Wolves, but I see a team like the Cleveland Cavaliers who are in an easier conference plus have an up-and-coming backcourt of Sexton and Garland making a move. They're well equipped to make the money work with their $100 million man Jarrett Allen along with Kevin Love and have potentially elite pieces like Isaac Okoro and Noah Vonley. Add a few picks and this deal could look great for both Minnesota and Cleveland. I could see other teams like the Raptors and Knicks trading for Towns in the summer of 2022 as well. Number three, Bradley Beal. The last piece remaining from the previous era in Washington, we have to commend Bradley Beal for his loyalty. The NBA's second leading scorer in 2021 has a contract that won't expire until 2023, but unless Washington suddenly becomes a top East contender in the next few years, Beal's almost definitely going to move on. The Wizards can get a lot in return for Beal right now, but as he approaches free agency, his value is going to keep going down. The Dallas Mavericks can make the money work by giving up Chris Stapp's Porzingis, also throwing in Jalen Brunson, Josh Green, and two future unprotected first round picks. However, the most recent Beal rumors have been centered around a possible swap for Ben Simmons. In terms of the likeliness that Beal will be traded, ESPN's Tony Kornheiser put it best, saying, quote, with Bradley Beal and John Wall, they never won anything. With Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook, they didn't win anything. With Bradley Beal alone, they're not going to win anything, end quote. 
Kornheiser also pointed out how Simmons' defense is much better than Beal's, which would make the swap a fair deal, but personally, I think the Wizards would need a bit more in return for just Simmons, but let me know your thoughts down below. Number two, Damian Lillard. After Damian Lillard said himself that he had accomplished everything he could in Portland, Dame has since cleared the trade rumor air after stating that he's tired of hearing the BS from the mainstream media in terms of the fact that he wants out. Next to Beal, Lillard's debatably the most loyal player in the NBA, and we have to respect this man in every aspect. Damien's given his heart and soul to Rip City for nine years strong, becoming the face of the Blazer franchise. Unfortunately, the best player that's ever been next to him for the last half decade is CJ McCollum. Portland's struggled to acquire the sufficient talent it takes to get through the Wild West. If the front office has any decency, they'd read between the lines and realize they have an unhappy superstar who'd much rather be competing for a championship. Of course, keeping Dame is a strong choice as well, but rewarding the best point guard in franchise history who's done so much for you with a trade to a contender, that'd be a good look for the Blazers organization, but maybe they don't care about that. Maybe it's time for a rebuild in Portland. Either way, Dame's the GOAT. Number one, Chris Stapp's Porzingis. Whether it's for Bradley Beal or someone else, simply put, KP gotta go. Dallas needs to keep Luka happy at all costs, and the unicorn complaining about his role not performing in the postseason as well is kind of messing with that. In a three-team deal with the Spurs and Thunder, Thaddeus Young, Lonnie Walker, Kenrich Williams, a 2023 top five protected first round pick, and a 2024 second round pick, both from San Antonio, would go to Dallas. OKC would receive Al Farouk Aminu and a second round pick from the Spurs, and San Antonio would get Chris Stapps. The idea of Porzingis is so damn intriguing. The mobile seven foot three center has the shooting tendencies of a scoring guard. He has shot blocking chops and he also understands the game of basketball at a high level. And yet, in Dallas, he's never lived up to the idea in a meaningful way. KP's missed 40% of his games across his six year career, including 29 outings last season. Jason Kidd should have an impact on the way Chris Stapps fits into the offense, but I get the feeling that Porzingis needs a change of scenery with all the drama that's gone down in Dallas. So the most likely team to make a move is the Dallas Mavericks. They need to get rid of Porzingis and land a legit second option next to Luka. If Mavs GM Nico Harrison can do that, then the Mavs are in the championship picture with a chance to achieve something they haven't done since 2011. Assuming Porzingis is the second most likely to be traded, I'm going to say the third most likely is Bradley Beal. It won't happen until the 2022 summer, but the Wizards are going to get tired of being in the middle at some point and will probably look to bottom out before 22-23. In no way am I guaranteeing any of these moves, but I'm just making the point that it's time for some of our game's best talent to get an opportunity in a new organization with more talent surrounding them. 